Welcome to the African Album Review Podcast, where we review Africa's best and latest music projects. Africa. Murise. My name is MJ Omoto, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to give you a rundown of Roses Are Red, Tears Are Blue, a Fountain Baby extended play by Armore. The clock starts now. The latest African album review is... Loading. I was this close to going the month with only three projects on the best list until Armore popped up with Roses Are Red, Tears Are Blue, a Fountain Baby extended play. Typically, I don't even listen to much in the last few days of the month as I prepare this list, but I haven't been able to put this project down since I heard it. Amare gives us an extended play of seven songs as disc one that are accompanied by the whole Fountain Baby album as disc two, which was already released before. What stood out to me about these new tracks on Roses Are Red, Tears Are Blue, A Fountain Baby Extended Play? Oh, that's a mouthful! <laughs> what stood out for me is that the sound is different to what Fountain Baby was, and you can hear the growth and you can feel it in the music. She continues to have a very pronounced eclectic side with much experimentation. The experimentation really takes you on a wonderful sonic experience that touches on all facets of a modern African sound or popular African sound with Afropop as an umbrella. Afrobeat, a piano, R&B, Alte, all in the mix in one way or another. This makes Roses Are Red, Tears of Blue, A Fountain Baby Extended Play such a potent project. In addition, Amare is vocally so confident here and dabbling in different styles that make you wonder how much more she has in her arsenal. A song like Jehovah Witness really showcases what I mean and she shows her range and ability to go to the extremes in whatever direction and all in a good way. The potency I mentioned also extends to her lyrical dexterity. She's got a little something something even when she sounds like she's, she's about to rap or whatever the case may be. But then she goes in with those sweet vocals, you know, with that pitched vocal. It really makes you get into the music. You get immersed into the music. And then when you're listening to what she's singing about, like her wordplay is so fire on some of these tracks. You're like, wow, how did she even think about that? And then she can go serious with it, but still giving you the vibes in that seriousness. I don't know how she does it, but it's really catchy. I love it. Ghana has such a special talent here. It's hard to describe in words. I would pick every single song here as a standout track, even the intro, which was like a minute and 51 seconds or something, but it was fire. Amongst the seven new tunes, honestly, all of them are fire, but I think uh, Thug, which is short, an abbreviation for Truly Humble Under God, is a masterpiece. One of Armoury's best compositions ever. You listen to that song and it continues to give you something new as it builds up and uh, that progression is crazy. Anyway, I rate Roses Are Red, Tears of Blue, a Fountain Baby extended play, an 8.5 out of 10. By the way, before I dip, my website is now up and running. mjwemoto.com. M-J-W-E-M-O-T-O dot com. Just check it out. Check it out. Otherwise, that's it for me. My name is MJ Omoto, son of Zimbabwe signing out. Peace. Day and day. This podcast is hosted by MJ.